Adam Silver, the so-called NBA commissioner, has a few issues that he has to deal with. This is Sports Guy Talking that you guys are listening and watching to. This is Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about why NBA ratings have been in massive decline in recent seasons, why their ratings flat out suck. Even though the NBA All-Star ratings sucked, it has actually only been a symptom of their problems in the NBA. Yeah, hard to believe. Now look, Adam Silver, he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to solve the issue of lack of ratings across the NBA. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So here it is. What are the reasons for the decline in viewership for the NBA? And to put things into context before I answer this question, I want to throw out some rating numbers. So let me talk about the 2023 NBA All-Star Game. So it drew 4.6 million views, which is horrible. I thought that a few years ago when they were only at 6 to 7 million, that was bad. But 4.6, that is really, really bad. That's making the NFL Pro Bowl look pretty good in comparison. And the NFL Pro Bowl sucks. Now, you want to talk about ratings for the regular season of the NBA? 1.6 million. Somehow, it's getting worse from 2022. Because the 2022 NBA season ratings were 1.9 million. That's a 16% decrease right now. That's really bad. I thought that the NBA had nowhere to go but up in terms of their audience. Turns out I was wrong with that. It's decreasing and it's an alarming sign. I know some people can say, oh, they're not counting in-stream numbers. False. They're counting that now. Oh, they're not counting out-of-house views. Wrong. They're counting that now. Wherever you go to a bar, that counts as views. Wherever you go to a streaming site, that counts as views. The fact of the matter is this. The NBA, they're right now are struggling to market their star players. And the NBA, what are they known for? They're known for being a star-driven league. Here's the problem, though. You look at the top players in the game today in the NBA, and a lot of them are flat-out not relatable. You look at the top players in the NBA right now. You got Nikola Jokic. You got Giannis Antetokounmpo. You got Luka Doncic. You got Jason Tatum. You got Joel Embiid. You got Kevin Durant. You got Steph Curry. And you got LeBron James. And maybe you want to throw in Damian Lillard. Here's the problem though with that list. A lot of these stars that I just listed out, fans can't relate to. Fans can't relate to Nikola Jokic because Nikola Jokic is from Serbia. Yeah, he's a nice story, but let's be honest. A lot of Americans growing up, they don't think, oh man, how can I travel a path that's similar to Nikola Jokic? That's just the reality of the matter. Same thing with Giannis Antetokounmpo. How can I relate to some guy that grew up in Greece and then went to the Americas? Same thing with Luka Doncic. And look, there's nothing wrong with international stars. But just know that if you go with the international star route, a lot of die-hard Americans are not going to be able to relate to those guys. That's why football doesn't have that problem. You look at someone like Tom Brady, people can relate to him. He's a hard worker. He's a guy that wasn't always this five-star recruit. He wasn't always this guy that everybody knew was going to be a superstar in the National Football League. And look at what happened. Tom Brady became the GOAT within due time. And that's what the NBA used to have with Michael Jordan or even LeBron James. People could relate to Michael Jordan because he was a guy that got cut in high school and he was a guy that worked hard to have success which is what being an American is all about. Michael Jordan was living the American dream. A lot of people were around that time. That's why you had a lot of stars that people could relate to. Most of the stars in the 80s and 90s, they were mostly from America. And what is most of the audience in the NBA? They're from America. America goes with America. They want to be able to relate with those stars. That's just the reality of the matter. That's also another problem with Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid's from Africa. A lot of people are not going to be able to relate to that. So that's already four of the top five players, basically, that I gave y'all that most fans can't relate to simply because of where they're from. And let's talk about the people that are from the Americas. Why can't people relate to them? You got Kevin Durant. You can't relate to him because a lot of people don't like the way how he handles a lot of his business. KD literally bases his decisions off of Twitter. And anytime anybody bases their decisions off of Twitter, that means that their decision making is questionable at best. Actually, let me go ahead and correct myself. Anybody that bases their decisions off of Twitter or idiots. That's just the reality of it. Kevin Durant, you're a great basketball player. I like watching you play on the court, but let's be honest. Kevin Durant, off the court, he's really not rootable at all. He's not really someone that fans can relate to. So you already have to look at it from that perspective. And then you got Steph Curry. Okay, you might be able to relate to Steph Curry. Steph Curry, he worked hard at his job. He can shoot the three. He works tirelessly at it. Okay, he's pretty rootable. And plus, he has relatable size. It's not like he grew up to be like this 6'10", 270-pound monster. No, he's just a regular 
tall basketball player and you can honestly relate to him in fact you could probably say that if it wasn't for Steph Curry NBA ratings would be even worse Steph Curry is actually one of the more relatable players in all of basketball sure he goes on with his woke talk sometimes but compared to someone like LeBron James it's not that bad at all or Adam Silver or even his head coach Steve Kerr don't forget about Greg Popovich as well I then mean, you got Jason Tatum he might grow into a great player he puts up great stats however he's not really a marketable star because he's not really a guy that shows much of his personality he's just a guy that comes in does his work maybe he can grow into that role one day but right now he's not there right now I then mean, you got LeBron James oh LeBron James man did I finally hit the nail on this one why do people not relate to LeBron James Let's see, maybe because he calls most of America racist. And look, I get it. LeBron James, he's a great basketball player. When he's done playing in the NBA, he's probably going to be a top three, top five player of all time. He's certainly not the GOAT to me. And he's certainly not the GOAT off the field. Michael Jordan clears him off the court as far as I'm concerned. That's just the reality of the situation. Michael Jordan could relate to his audience far better than LeBron James can. Because LeBron James is always calling his fans racist. He's always calling something wrong with the system. He's always talking about defunding the cops about how black lives matter and that's the problem a lot of americans don't support that look you can add it up the way it wants to a lot of americans do not support blm i'm not a supporter of blm either and defunding the cops please police are not the biggest reasons for why blacks end up dead i'm getting sick and tired of that narrative of people repeating that look the cops are working hard at their jobs are some cops flawed yes someone like Derek chauvin yes he was a flawed cop that's why he should pay the price for what he did however that doesn't represent what most of the cops are like in america most of the cops are good people that are just trying to work hard trying to get a living that's just the reality of the situation and lebron james he sets people off with that and it's just the fact that lebron james is also a communist supporter he always talks about talking about all these issues about mythical racism but when you talk about china oh man now he's going to get quiet now he's not going to say nothing you talk about human right issues in China, he's not going to say anything. You know why? Because he's got shoe deals that are involved with the Chinese Communist Party. That's why he don't say nothing about that. And that's why a lot of American fans are turned off by LeBron James. So why are Adam Silver in the NBA struggling with the ratings? To me, it comes down to one simple reason. I listed out a whole bunch of reasons, but it really comes down to one thing. Mentality. Mentality. A lot of their players do not relate well with their fan bases. A lot of them seem to be out of touch. And a lot of them, even the good guys, they're just not really relatable, quite frankly. It's hard to relate to a Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, who grows up in Greece and then ends up in the Americas? Who grows up in Serbia? Who grows up in Slovenia? Who grows up in Africa as a kid then migrates to the Americas? It's just flat out not relatable. It's why Yao Ming back when he was on the Houston Rockets when he was a good player was not really a marketable player in the United States. A lot of people can't relate to that. Someone like Michael Jordan, they can relate to that because Michael Jordan grew up in the Americas. He grew up working hard at his craft. He got cut from his high school team for goodness sake and he ended up being the GOAT basketball player. And LeBron James, before he became woke, he was a relatable guy too. He was a guy that grew up with a single mother. He worked hard at what he did, and he ended up being a really good basketball player. So that's why people found him relatable then. They just don't find him relatable now because he's always spewing out his woke talk, and he'd be sounding more like the Hollywood folk. That's just the reality of the situation. What can the NBA do to solve this problem? They need to get stars that people can relate to. American stars, to be specific. They need to find a guy that can work hard like Michael Jordan, a guy that has the mentality of a Steph Curry. If they can get that back on track, I think that's going to get more viewers into the NBA because right now, a lot of NBA stars are just flat out not relatable. I'm sorry, but that's just the way how it is. I got to keep it real with you guys. So that is why there has been a decline in viewership for the NBA. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video, comment down below, 
check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.